God bless you. <clears throat> God bless you. Greetings, everyone. Greetings to you. We greet you from, we bring you greetings from the bishop, from the shepherd, from the apostle. We bring you greetings from the bishop, from my bishop, my shepherd, my apostle, and my high priest. And that is Jesus Christ. Let me answer this question. I get this question often. They want to know several asked who is your pastor who is your bishop well I want to answer that question let me let me answer it first then you say who ordained you I'm going to answer that the old question number one who is my pastor who is my bishop his name is Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. That's my pastor, that's my shepherd, that's my bishop, that's my apostle. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is my bishop, my pastor, my apostle, my shepherd, my high priest. I know that's, that, that's, that's new to some of you. Well, open your Bible and let's prove that. Now the next question we're going to deal with is, who ordained me? My bishop, my apostle, my chief shepherd, my high priest ordained me a preacher if that is Jesus Christ. Some say, well, were you ordained by man? No, I'm not ordained by man. Man don't have the power or the authority to ordain me. Ordination comes from God. Comes from through Jesus Christ. And he said some uh, in the church first upon it. said he it is it. This ain't no man. Well, like that's yes, yes, Hebrew twelve. And he gave some apostle, prophet, pastor, teaching fact, and uh, God as yes, he feed the four when he lived. <laughs> no man ordained me. No man is my bishop, my pastor, my overseer, my apostle. That authority only go to Jesus Christ and not man. So if man, my bishop, apostle, shepherd, how did man get ordained? Who ordained man? Look at the word of wisdom. The word of wisdom going for right now. If man ordained you, if man is your bishop, apostle, pastor, if man did that, okay, if that man position, who gave man that position? Where did man get that position from? Word of wisdom going forward right now. And word of knowledge. Think about that. If they if they true, they got it from the same one that gave it to me. <laughs> and that is Jesus Christ. <laughs> let, let me get killed too many one stone. A lot of people get word of wisdom and word of knowledge mixed up. Word of wisdom is where you got a condition in your body. There ain't no word of wisdom. There ain't no word of knowledge. That sounds like prophecy to me. 
in both of them they explained it. They said, well, it's kind of similar to prophecy that because it is prophecy. Read the scripture. <laughs> what what I do is separate on that, but if you look at uh Corinthians 12, where it says God placed Saul in the first apostle, then Let's get that quickly, since since I'm since I'm out here now, and we're gonna show you where the wizard word about it. That have to do with teaching. Hebrews, to, I mean Corinthians to him. Watch this, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. No way, say it. Let's start with uh. 29 are all apostles are all prophets are all teachers are all workers of miracles we're 12th chapter then you go back up you see the word one get worried with it, one get worried about it what is that that come under the head of the teachers let me show you And God says some in the church, first apostle, second day of the prophet, third of the teacher. After that, miracles. You don't see where knowledge and all that stuff in here, do you? That come out of the head of the teaching. Knowledge of the word of God. Woo! Till we all come into the knowledge. How you get that? Where the wisdom, where the knowledge. <laughs> All right, who is my pastor? Who ordained me? Let's start with uh, Jeremiah, chapter number one, and verse number four. The word of the Lord came to me, said, "Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou came forth out of the womb." I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet. All right. Give me Timothy 2 and 6. Well, give me Hebrews 3 and 1. My God. Hallelujah. Hebrews 3 and 1. Yeah, no, you can't talk like this. You, you can't say this because you got man up over God. Because you can't say this. You're a hypocrite. For holy brethren and partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Jesus Christ. That's Jesus. All right, then we want Peter two. First Peter two. I got. 25. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your soul. That's Jesus. All right. Now, uh, Timothy 2 and 7. Well, we better start with uh, five. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher. Christ ordained me. Did nobody ordain me? Christ ordained me. Even in the 13th chapter of Acts, the Holy Ghost says, separate me, Bob, and Saul. Then, uh, in Timothy, Paul told Timothy, neglect not the gift that is given unto you, 
by the land on the head, that ain't all that said. It's a by prophecy. That be God told them to single out Timothy. Uh huh. You, you, you see where we're going. Now, who is my earthly pastor? I can't point to one earthly pastor. Yeah, the the pastor of the church that I attend regularly, locally, Temple Church of God of Christ, his name is David Hall. The pastor of the church, he's one of the pastors in the body of Christ. But in this same location, I can point to Ella Birch, Ella Stanton, Elder Dickinson, Elder Martin, uh, and others. I can point to them. Remember, feed the flock of God which the Holy Ghost have made you overseer. Overseer feeds the flock. How many feed the flock of God? Just the pastor? Just your one man over the building? The devil is alive. It's many pastors in the body of Christ. Now you know. Who my pastor? Who ordained me? Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for viewing.